Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are talking about an incident report 5M released today. I wanted to get this out as soon as possible so server owners and users on 5M know what to do. Um, there was an incident report where a old moderator account, um, they go into this more detail on the forum post which I'll link in the description, um, but it was um, hacked by a third party and they were able to get certain information. No passwords were received. Um, but I still, regardless, would recommend you change them. It's always a good security measure, especially um, when even email addresses are leaked um, to go ahead and change your passwords. Always a good idea. Um, but they did say no passwords. None of your connected accounts were leaked at all. Um, you don't have to worry about any of that. But the information that was released is if you have a form account, your username, your email address, and any IPs you used to log in on the forums with your signup or the last one you logged in on the forums were leaked. And then the one that I'm going to be focusing on this video is your server license keys. Um, so if you are a user who doesn't run a server, just make sure I would just change your password out of uh, precaution. But theoretically, you wouldn't have to do anything. You just need to be aware that your email that you used to sign up on the forums was leaked in this leak. Um, but let's talk a little bit about server keys. Uh, you can go through there how what happened on this thread if you want. They're taking a lot of actions to make sure things are um, fixed up. But let's talk about what you need to do as a server owner. Um, pretty easily, you're going to log into Keymaster and we're going to change our keys. We're going to do that right now. I'll show you what to do. But a reason why you're going to do this is because server keys, they're really only used for the serverless backend. Um, so someone may be able to use the key to get your spot in the server list and just change it up a little bit. But you don't really need to um, have too much worry about it because it's an easy fix. All you have to do is regenerate your key. And if you don't do this before next Monday the 11th, um, it will automatically be done. And you just have to switch it in your files. Um, or next Monday the 14th. Sorry, I got the date wrong. But regardless, you just want to make sure you're going to regenerate them. Um, so let's go ahead and regenerate them right now. So we're going to go to Keymaster. You're logged in with your um, server, with your forums account. And then you're going to go to whatever your server. You can do it for any of your active servers. And all you have to do is click regenerate. Click OK. It will refresh and you can see you have a new key. Obviously, this key that I'm showing in the video will be tracked. Um, but all you need to do is copy this and paste it back into your server.cfg file wherever your keys are. So we'll do that right now. So I'm here in my server.cfg file. Here's my old license key. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to replace my old one with the now regenerated one. Go ahead and save that file and you will be good to go. So that is all you have to do if you're a server owner. Again, always recommend changing your passwords, but great job for the 5M team for actually alerting people of this. I know a lot of companies and stuff who would not. So great job following all the procedures for that. Hopefully you guys can figure it out um, and prevent this in the future from what I can tell. But I wanted to get this video out, change your keys. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you um, in a day or two for our next live stream and video. Make sure to subscribe. See you later.